Hello everyone, I'm Trần Hoàng Vĩnh Thuận from IWA10B. Like many of you here, I'm also a Gen Z. We are the first generation who were born into a world that's surrounded by algorithms and artificial intelligence. Now, a very quick question. Does anybody in this place have a phone? Let me see your hands. Wow. All right, thank you. And this smartphone in my hand is an example of how people depend on AI. AI can help me to do most of my daily tasks, and I'm so used to add AI for my next dating appointment, where to go for dinner, and even plan out my diet because I'm a gym rat, and I'm all about the routine, what to eat to gain this kind of massive biceps. All right, look at what's happening right now. In the places like Amazon warehouses, it's the potential of AI transforming every aspect of our lives. So the question is, are young people winning or losing in the age of AI? The answer is that it could be both. Now, tell me, does anyone like to wait in a line? Wow, one person, all right. Um, and one of the biggest gains of AI is convenience. There's a survey by Wait While asking their customer in the US which emotion best describes you while waiting in a line. And over 68% of them are negative feelings, such as bored, annoyed, frustrated, impatient, and even disrespected. Nowadays, AI is the solution for this problem in every Uniqlo store you just have only three steps to check out. The first one is to put your basket or your items into the slot, and then you're gonna pay by your card or your e-wallet, and then you're gonna go. Very neat, right? And AI robots can help the businesses like Uniqlo to enhance their customer experience and lower the cost. And customers like us, we could save our time to do anything else more important. And what about availability, accuracy, and safety? NiceGov company has a solution, which is called surveillance robots, which can tighten the security of an area and, um, by, by patrolling and sending the alerts when they find some potential dangers or signs of terrorism. Some AI robots are basically designed to enter the burning buildings like this or hard to reach areas and studies by the National Institute of Occupational Safety and Health shows that firefighters have a higher risk to gain cancer due to the smoke, and AI robots can significantly reduce this risk. And I, I guess at this point, everybody's all hyped up for the new technology run by AI. And this also leads to another question. What about the potential losses? According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the unemployment rate in the U.S. in January 2024, the jobs in agriculture and construction are at the top of AI hit list. Think about it. AIs are already picking fruits and vegetables with incredible speed and accuracy. Some robots work efficiently in the burns or silos and this makes people you less in most of the tasks. And it's almost certain that the future buildings will be constructed entirely by AI-empowered machines. And not, not only the manual labor jobs are at risk, according to the survey by bestcolleges.com, half of the students in, in colleges have used AI to cheat on their assignments and exams. This can be considered as plagiarism. And we have to be prepared for a future where originality is even more important. So do the youth have more, anything else like new opportunities? Yeah, of course, don't worry about that. There will still plenty of amazing opportunities. But the key is to focus on the unique human skills which AI can't replicate. AI cannot figure out what they learn. Therefore, they need humans' help to avoid the misconceptions and the biases 
And the job I'm talking about is AI trainers. It's very, very important. All right, what do you think the picture will look like with this prompt asking the AI drawing? Mother Teresa fighting poverty. Maybe you're picturing a scene of Mother Teresa giving food or clothes or blankets to the poor people. But AI understood differently and recreated a mess which went viral on Reddit in February 2024. And this is the picture looks like. <laughs> yeah. And let's just say it needs some work. Let's compare that picture to this ceiling painting of Michelangelo, the creation of Adam, a true masterpiece. Can you imagine a robot can recreate something like this with this depth of feelings and this kind of details? Now, as I saw, that's a proof. This takes a lot of political knowledge, human creativity, and skill to be able to paint something like this. And creativity is something that sets human apart from AI. So that's why the jobs like painting, um, where your imagination and skill are irreplaceable and will always in demand. Let's talk about healthcare. AI doctors just rely on their patient data to, to solve their problems. On the other hand, human doctors have their work ethics represented by the oath of uh, uh, hypocrites. And the oath of hypocrites just basically a set of ethnic rules or obligations for doctors. And the human's mind is a very, very complex thing. That's why psychologists play a crucial role for people to navigate their hard feelings or their mental health for their mental challenges. Can you imagine a, a robot can understand the depth of human's mind? Not a chance. Empathy, compassion, and the ability to build trust are something that says human, are something that says human psychologists irreplaceable. Now, a recent survey by QandMe.net of Vietnamese students revealed their top five factors when choosing a company. And the first one, of course, salary, second one, um, benefit and the third one, promotion opportunities. It's understandable that uh, the top one is salary, but here's the thing. You will spend a large chunk of your life for working. So then you'll be passionate about what you do? Let's just choose a job that ignites your passion, that challenges you, and that allows you to use your unique human skill to develop yourself and grow your company. And my last advice is we, Gen Z, are growing up in a world that is transformed by AI. But remember, future is not written with algorithms. The future is shaped by us, by our creativity, our passion, and our humanity. Let's just use AI to enhance our lives, not to replace what makes us human. Thank you for your listening.